This was because of fire. And they wanted to have some fire gap, it's called in Slovenia. Yeah? So this gaps between buildings, if a fire started in one, then you would manage to, to keep it under control. Mostly, but usually not. Yeah? But they also had the limit of how big the house can be. And you can see it here. What would be the limit? Three story. Three windows. Three story. Very good medieval thinking there. Yeah? So three windows. You could only have three windows with. Even if you had the most money in the world, you couldn't have a bigger house. And this is because they had to squeeze the growing population within the city wall. The city wall was where it was. Outside you had Turkish invasion. Since it's the 16th century, you wanted to stay inside. Yeah? And they kept this limit very strictly. So if you see buildings bigger, it means that there are more buildings joined into one. As all these bigger buildings are actually glued together in smaller buildings. So all of them had two or three windows initially. Here, there wasn't a fountain in medieval Ljubljana, but there was a tree. And this is a very important sort of a tree, which was the, today this is the symbol of Slovenia, but it was in the past a symbol of people getting together. It's the linden tree. And for Slavic people, linden trees are very symbolic. It was a sacred tree. Before they became Christian, it was something that was worshipped. And so you would always plant a linden tree in the center of a square or in, in important places, like in the center of a village, there was always a linden tree. Still a lot of those exist because they would go on for a very long time. Yeah? And here you also had the linden tree. And what you would do under a linden tree in a town was to organize dances. And this was the main social event of a medieval town. So every Sunday afternoon you had a dance under the linden tree. All the young people would come, this is where they would meet their future husbands and wives. Yeah? Wow. And 